stuff like we've been playing together since we were I don't know, this big so it's it's fun seeing it come all together and it sucks how it ended but I love those guys and that's whatever. Oh uh, yeah like me and Rob been playing for four years together for Zwagel. Oh it was good this year we got our first playoff win. Made a little bit of a run. It sucks to be done with baseball and like all sports but yeah. A lot of fun, yeah, like the team trips and everything, just like coming out of basketball, getting ready for baseball, the winter workouts. Um, baseball's a fun sport, a lot of fun guys on the team. I miss a lot of the juniors. I think it's everything. Um, every minute we can spend with them is like a good minute, so I don't know. I've enjoyed all of those times through through the ups and the downs, that fun and down. That's up, so it's all. A, a couple of these kids have played for four years, so it seems like it almost gets to the point where you just expect you go coach baseball and they're like part of your team year after year after year, and you want them to be here and you expect them to be here. And then when it's all it's fast, and um, you just your last game is probably always going to be a loss, and, and you're just never prepared for that because you think you can win one more game and keep battling. And, it's just it's sad when you have kids that have played for so long in the program. I have given to give them so much to the program. Um, so kind of going out today, I knew I kind of was trying to limit pitches a little bit because um, if we got through this one, I wanted to be eligible to throw on Saturday. Um, so kind of going out there, making sure I got all my tools, all my stuff, um, and just throwing strikes, filling up the zone. I'm um, not really worrying about strikeouts today or any stat lines like that. Just working on getting outs and getting my team up to the bat as quick as we could. Um, just so I'm eligible to throw on Saturday, which I met that requirement. So I feel pretty happy with the outing. And you know, it's, it's been an odd team. And one thing we've stressed, and Coach Kipling, you know, one of our many assistants, he's mainly our pitching coach. He's sort of, sort of our, our mental coach, too. And he keeps stressing, you know, one game at a time, one pitch at a time, next pitch. And one thing we said to our guys is that, your demeanor all year long, we don't have to change anything. Keep doing what we're doing. We, you know, in basketball, you've got to have different strategy all the time. In baseball, keep doing what we're doing, um, play our game, and, uh, and we're gonna be just fine. And, um, you know, I know that, um, you know, Christensen's had a great year, and, and, you know, he hit more batters than normal, and, and he really did a good job keeping us off balance, mixing his pitches, he did a really good job. Um, but we were able to manufacture that big inning and, you know, you run that fine line of you have your ace and if he throws 76 pitches, he's done for Saturday, but you got to get to Saturday. So to get four runs made our decision a little easier. And, um, you know, Maddox Kipling came in and did the job. And um, so we, we like where we're at. We're in a good place. Um, we played a tournament in Petoskey earlier this year and we, we won that tournament. Uh, we won the regional championship in Petoskey, so it's kind of a, a home for us. We've won two districts in a row at Oak Ridge and now a regional game. So the Oak Ridge field's been really good to us. We're hoping the Petoskey field can continue to be really good also.